Hello guys, welcome back to AppSheet Tutorial. This is Aditya here. I'm an entrepreneur and having three plus years of experience in AppSheet. So today we're going to see the continuation of the last video. So in our last video, we saw how to send tax invoice to customers in app using AppSheet email automation bot. And uh, the previous video was first importing the invoice and then we are sending the tax invoice. And today we're going to see how to store those invoices in Google Drive. So that in later later end of the month we can use those invoices for tax filing or for accounting purpose so let's get started so this is the app which we have previously created so if you are new to this channel subscribe share and uh, i will give the this this video part link in description part one and part two and make sure to watch those videos so that you can understand better so what we are doing is so in the sheets, I'll just show this database structure. So we are importing this, all this for, uh, from the razor pay. You can watch in the previous video so you'll get to know. And we are calculating the subtotal GST and then we are sending the invoice. And making this invoice sent through as an indication that invoice has got sent. Now we want to store this PDF file in Google Drive. What are the emails we send? So this is the automation bot which I have created. So when adding any files, we are sending email and we are uh, updating the status. So in between, what I'm going to do is I'll uh, just create one more step in between to store those PDF files in Google Drive. So what I'm going to do is for this. I'm just going to create a task which is create a new file and the same template we're going to use here. So this template there. So this is a template which we created in the last video. So I'll just show this. So this template we're going to store it as a PDF file. So it's a template and then the folder path I'm going to give as let's say invoices. So inside this folder invoices Google Drive. Uh, this folder will get created and we are going to store those files in the, inside this folder and the file name uh, should be clear so invoice number will be the file name so this number sorry, this is based on this number i am going to create as a file name so invoice number i am just inserting okay. and disable timestamp because uh, if you enable timestamp uh, with this file name, this timestamp also will be as a uh, it's appended to the file name. So I don't want. So I'll just disable. I want to save. So I'll just check one time template is same. So yeah, it's the same. So what I'm going to do is I'll just delete all this post. Uh, one more time, I'm going to import this this sync import. So import test. So this I'm importing, and uh, it gets imported, and we have to this true should come which means uh, email got sent and stored in google drive also these two steps will get executed actually the third step one um, let's make sure the true step okay actually the third step got replaced by this step it's okay fine so we will check in Google Drive uh, whether 
we got the necessary files so here where you can find this app sheet and data so inside app sheet folder data folder and invoice import app name so the app name invoice import see the folder got created invoices which we have mentioned here folder path and then actually <coughs> another folder also got created this is 7 8 20 22 and inside this 0 0 1 0 0 2 so actually why this folder got created because if you see the file name which we have given file name prefix as invoice number right so this invoice number is actually 7082022 slash 001 actually this slash denotes the directory path so that's why this has got created as a separate folder and inside this the 001002003 so this is a if you don't want to create the separate folder so don't make sure don't uh, use this slash instead of dash like that you can use so it won't create a new folder okay so in this way so if you open this you'll see this is the first one second third and fourth so this will be useful useful for accounting purpose uh, in future reference or whatever you tax invoice you got is just a collection of uh, invoices you sent so yeah that's it guys so thanks for watching so make sure to subscribe and share if you like this video i will give the part one and part two link in description and in the next video we can see how we can make interactive ux dashboard so interactive dashboard means when you look like for example let's say uh, dashboard contains uh, restaurant dashboard menu sub menu if you click one menu the respective menu sub items will come so this dashboard view so this dashboard interactive dashboard view we can see in the next video okay thanks for watching see you in the next video bye